are hoping it sends a strong message to them that we are unified and we are strong. We begin with that breaking news. Nurses at Brigham and Women's Faulkner Hospital voted to authorize a strike. Thanks for joining us on this Thursday night. I'm Priscilla Casper. Glenn has the night off. This is the second hospital where nurses have voted to strike just within the past two days. Our NBC 10's Kirsten Glavin joining us live in West Roxbury with all the breaking details tonight. Kirsten. Yeah, this is another blow to hospital administration. Nurses at Faulkner Hospital voting almost unanimously tonight to authorize this strike. Now, let's look at the totals here. We're talking 341 yes votes and only one no. That is a 99.7% vote to hit the picket line. This will impact about 500 nurses in the Massachusetts Nurses Association, many of whom are making their intentions clear this evening that they are prepared to strike if Mass General Brigham does not settle a new contract. They've been in negotiations for the past 10 months. Now, the union is primarily asking for competitive wages to keep staff from going to other hospitals and better safety measures. Now, all of this comes after another vote just last night. Thousands of nurses in the same union over at Brigham and Women's Hospital voted overwhelmingly to authorize a one-day strike as well. If healthcare workers at both hospitals decide to move forward, with the strike, this could impact about 4,500 nurses in total. Nurses have to give the hospital system a 10 day notice if they do plan to actually hit the picket line. We are ecstatic that we're going to be able to hopefully tell management that we are strong as a union and that we are here for our patients. That's our main thing, right? We're looking for retention, we're looking for recruitment. It's hard every day to go in and know that um, we're going to, you know, we're, we're doing the work of two people because we're, we're down how many nurses every day. It's a revolving door and it's not pretty. Now, a spokesperson for Mass General Brigham did release a statement to us tonight in response to the vote, saying in part, quote, progress has been made on several topics and we have presented a fair, equitable proposal. Our focus remains on supporting our nurses while providing high quality, safe care for our patients. If a strike takes place, we are positioned to continue to provide the care our patients expect. Now, there is another contract negotiation scheduled for later next month. If a deal is not reached at that point, then the union tells us they will plan to uh, discuss and potentially set a date for a strike at that point. We're live here in West Roxbury tonight. I'm Kirsten Glavin, NBC 10 Boston.